everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am post commentating here because this is stuff I did off camera. Boing, gold number. You know the deal. I am back here to get the treasure maps. And you know I'm gonna get those treasure maps whether you like it or not because my OCD is gonna make me. <laughs> So here I am digging, and believe it or not, in this run, I managed to get them both in the same run. This is incredible. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's why I decided to just show the whole run rather than cut from treasure map to treasure map, because this is pretty unusual. And I decided to get one in each quadrant, if at all possible, so I, I got the treasure map up there. I got one in both, I mean, yeah, both the southern quadrants here, and of course I got Rupors, because, you know, that's, that's just what happens <laughs> when I play this game, but, uh, well, yeah, more Rupors, because why not, but anyway, the very, very last thing that I get is the last treasure map, yeah, in the run, it's unbelievable, it's craziness, and, well, it happens. And I appreciate it because I really don't like these luck-based sorts of games. <laughs> you know me and luck-based sorts of stuff, they just do not sit well with me. I like skill-based stuff because I like to feel like I did something and not just one due to chance. <laughs> anyway, I'm just digging around the perimeter here because it's just quicker for the most part. Just going around to the nearest spot and whatnot. Here's my ninth, and here comes the tenth treasure. Behold! The last treasure map of the island, baby. Heck yeah! Alright, I am out of here. And then I started my two day fishing quest. <laughs> so basically, you sail over to a fishing spot, which is moving by the way. And then you gotta time your tap on the fish to when you're above said fish. And then you're, you'll start your fishing tutorial for the first time here. So, get yourself ready to fish. Yup, first time ever! I will teach you some of the secrets of fishing! Slide the stylus down the screen to pull up on your rod. To reel in, make small circles with your stylus. When you get a bite, lift up on the rod to set the hook. Time me a ski! So, yeah, um, I get this wrong early on when you're when you're pulling back on the rod. I, I kind of tap and pull back multiple times over and over again. But you, what you really should be doing is tapping and pu pulling back and then holding. And, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the key to fishing is knowing when to pull up on your rod and reel in. Watch that thing on the upper left corner. If you don't do anything, yep, 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 yep. Yep, you got that. Just I, I, I'm basically telling the tutorial here. But yeah, reel in the fish by doing little circles there, and when it gets down to the danger zone, pull back on the rod, and then you'll release the tension on that. See that? And this is what I'm doing wrong to get the... I mean, it's working on the easier fish, but I don't realize that I'm doing something wrong until afterwards. And when this fish jumps, take the stylus off the screen. And this fish will jump in your tutorial there, so just take it off completely, wait till it plops back in the water, and then you will be a happy camper or a happy skipper or whatever you want to call it <laughs> and another thing is that I should be making smaller circles with my stylus to reel in the fish but uh, well I'm not doing that yet either because I didn't really remember how to do the fishing all that well at this point as I said so yeah <laughs> it's all right though I do manage to get this skippy jack here Woo! Heck yeah! and then uh, just go over to the next location. By the way, a Skippy Jacks are mainly found at the southwestern quadrant of the sea, and then the rest are just pretty much randomized for the most part. So, I'm, I'm not even bothering to show the locations because they're going to be different from you. I'm just going to cut to each fish that I caught, you know, a different kind of fish in sequential order. And also, um, you should also be pulling in the direction opposite of where the fish is. Like when you get into the danger zone, I should be pulling not straight up and down here. I should be pulling back into the right because it's to the left, and I should be pulling back to the left because it's on the right side. So yeah, you should be pulling in the opposite direction of the fish for maximum impact, basically. And the game gives you that sort of hint as you go along with those. Yeah, see that flashing arrow that came up on the screen there. Yeah, it gives you that little hint that you should be pulling in the opposite direction. And yeah, once you get that, 
back in the green, start reeling it in. Just keep pulling back, pull back, pull back, reel in, reel in, reel in. But only, only when you can though, you know? Don't push it. Otherwise, you're going to lose your fish. You can't get all the way into the danger zone, as I showed. That, but So it's not really that much of a big deal if you get into the danger zone. Just once you, once you see a flashing, just pull back immediately. You know, really more than anything, you should be watching the top screen more than the bottom screen. Because uh, you'll, you'll be able to feel around where you are on said screen. You know, as you're going along, because you've probably got the hang of the screen's positioning and whatnot as you've gone through the game and got used to the game's controls and whatnot. So you should be able to just feel around on the screen uh, just by instinct. And then, yeah. Anyway, this is where I get the sacred. Well, I, I actually probably shouldn't say, but it's Luvar. <laughs> it is the third variety of fish, and I need this to make pro progress in the fishing side quest here. Because you need to show to the old wayfarer to get yourself uh, an upgraded lure to catch another couple varieties of fish. Unfortunately, I was not able to catch the um, stowfish during this time period of catching five fish. There's six fish in the game, but I got the great majority of them. The reason why I didn't get the stowfish is, is because it appears randomly on anything but a skippy jack. And it's incredibly rare. <laughs> So, it's one of those things you just gotta keep catching fish over and over and over again until you get it. And, well, I got tired of it. <laughs> Once I got the heart container for getting the last fish, I was pretty happy with that. So, yeah, I got the Luvar, and now I headed over to Banana Island to go to the Old Wayfarer to do said side quest over here. I'm just ignoring the mailbox here until I live commentary it, it later up. You know, get what I'm saying? Live commentary it up. There we go. I just totally messed up on my speech there. And okay, so he is quite pleased about my Luvar. And as a result, we will get the most beautiful lure in the world. It is a big catch lure. Look at that. It's shiny. It's gorgeous. It can catch all the fish in the game. <laughs> so now that I've got this lure, I can go out and catch a rusty swordfish, which is what I'm getting right now. So let's see. By the way, as you can tell, the fish, it will... I mean, the, the fish of different varieties have different movement patterns and whatnot. Some are more aggressive, like this swordfish. You know, well, rusty swordfish. Others are less aggressive, like the easy to catch Skippy Jack. So, but but the concept is pretty much the same. You just gotta pull back when you're in the danger zone, reel in when you're in the safe zone, just to get the yards knocked out of your fishing line. And yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been talking a lot today. <laughs> I'm post commentating this after I made the part after this and the next part so yeah i'm already kind of kind of sweating the vocal cords here <laughs> but that's okay i'll make it don't worry i will make it only three yards left for this fish ah it's getting even more aggressive at the end and this sucker is huge yeah i get that grappling hook <laughs> now once you get the rusty swordfish Go back to the old wayfarer once again, because there's something else here that you gotta do to unlock the next fish. So he's gonna be like, ooh, yes, so sharp, so sharp. The rusty swordfish, you have caught it. Impressive. <laughs> rusty swordfish are backbreakers, even for bold men of passion like myself. Nice work, young man. Because your skills quite equal to mine, you will not deserve this gift. A random ship part. <laughs> and more importantly, he will say that I can do it. I can catch a fish to have fe special fish saddles around the sea. And once again, this is a random sort of thing, and it's the Neptuna. If you see something that has this random fish shadow at this moment in time, go out and holler in. But this shadow is a lot more difficult. I just wanted to see the dialogue there. Uh, because this this shadow moves a lot quicker than other shadows, so yeah, you're gonna have to head it off at the pass rather than just chasing the fish down. So I come across one here, watch where it appears, right next to the other fish as I was tracking it down. So then I point it out there, and I also, yeah, I fail to leap that, but whatever. <laughs> I'm more 
more intrigued by that special fish shadow because it is the fish of legend, the Neptuna, the battle of the ancients, man versus fish. And this is where I start to figure out that this method of pulling back on the fishing rod is not good. <laughs> You'll see, because I'll I'll constantly be in the danger zone if I keep doing it like this. See, I'm not making any leeway this way. And then I start to experiment because I really don't want to lose the fish. And I'm like, oh, oh, I remember. I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to keep pulling back like that. I'm supposed to pull and hold. Yeah! Well, that's what I get eventually. And the reason why I realize this is because... I pull back slower, and then I eventually just realized I'm supposed to hold at the bottom of the screen uh, to, to pull back a little bit easier, but yeah. So, uh, well, eventually. <laughs> it takes a while, I assure you, but I, I get it, I get it. This is the winning run on the said fish. So, yeah, every fish is a winning run here. I don't lose a single one, and don't worry about losing any fish. You can always re-catch a fish. I should say, you always have unlimited chances at a fish, it'll just reappear somewhere, somewhere else, so... There's there's no such thing as a missable in this game. Just rock that fish like you've never rocked that fish before. <laughs> By the way, it's weird that the transition to the screen is straight for the line, but split when it comes to the fish. <laughs> See, oh, get out of You can do it, PK Gam! Pull! 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 Do it! Do it! Eight yards away! See, it's getting more aggressive as you're getting closer to the boat out of desperation. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out here. There it is, there it is, that's when I figure it out. There, right at that moment. See that? I'm holding it now. Look at that. Yeah, that's how it's done. Look at me getting the leeway now like a pro. And if you think about it, that makes sense. Because you wouldn't keep pulling on the fishing rod over and over, you just continually pull on the fishing rod. But anyway, I got it! Neptune up, baby! Woohoo! The legend of the seas. And, yep, back to the old Wayfarer. <laughs> Here we are, once again. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it. The legend. Yes! Yes! I, he, he has gazed into it, and it is the romance. And it, it inspires him to give us... To give us the games heart container for the quest heck yeah baby Woohoo! Woohoo, I say <laughs> and then I go take a look see over at his extra dialogue here as well as uh, Joanne over there just for kicks yeah no new fish you just figured you might have something else to say he's still inspired by the fish and then the little bits of dialogue by Joanne here. Dee, <laughs> how are you? And to finish off this part with live commentary, we've got... Look at that over there! It's a special... Mast Beetle Ship! So let's go down over there. Now, why haven't we seen this before? Well, that's because the DS clock needs to be set uh, between 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on weekends. So, basically the numbers reverse depending on if it's a weekday or weekend. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a special time event sort of thing that your DS clock needs to be set to. So you either gotta cheat your clock like I have to do for the walkthrough here <laughs> by changing the computer clock or your DS clock or just play the game when you're supposed to play it at that particular time frame. Oh, jeez, I was not paying attention to those ah, cyclones. <laughs> stinker, stinkers, stinkers. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. What the? Special. I thought that only appears once, the Neptuna. Because, yeah, that's the Neptuna shadow over there. Huh. And I, I got 12 hearts, and I know that one heart container is coming up next here, and then another one is at another island. So I don't know why that's appearing. I, I don't know, maybe it's an emulation thing, or maybe my information's wrong. Anyway, oh, welcome! I don't think we've met before. Nope. I'm pretty sure we have, actually. He's just changing his voice so that we don't hear him saying, Oh! 
Oh, but I know all about you. A close up shop in seven days. Liquidation sale. <laughs> so over here, we got a heart container. Hello there. By the way, I thought that you could use the discount cards over at the mass ship, but that's not actually a thing. So I might as well just go over here and buy them now. <laughs> and over here is a good thing. Wow. It sounds delightful, so I gotta buy that good thing. It's a courage gem. Heck yeah. We got one heart container remaining, baby. Mm -hmm. What you got here? I guess I could, because why not? Woo! Yeah! And even though a shop closes up supposedly in that time frame, it really doesn't. It's always there as long as you have the... DS clock set to those times. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I buy one of these, or at least try to, and I'm full on potions, is it to say no? Yeah. <laughs> and let's see here, what's this worth? Uh, oh no, oh no. Heck no. <laughs> Alright, I am done here, and we can also tour his shop, because why not? And that is all. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. Wait, actually, you know what? I'm not going to end off the part here. I want to go and battle Jolene again. <laughs> because I just seem to continually avoid her by mistake. And, well, yeah, let's just give her a shot literally here. Because we're coming down to the last bits of dialogue. I found you, Lightbrook! Give up, it's been I love doing their voice. Well, in total anger. You just had to shoot that one torpedo before I reach you, huh? You just had to do it. <laughs> oh. Special glitch on the fact, but okay. Hmm? Light back, show yourself! <laughs> you can. Little boy in great energy, so he's like, I don't think so! Let's take you down! <laughs> Or at least how, that's how I interpret her voice nowadays, as she gets more and more maddened by her inability to defeat us as time goes on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Do your charge attack. Yeah! <laughs> charge attack, yeah! Do it! Do it, do it! Charge attack, there we go. You're cooperating now, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Just never know what attack she's gonna do, you gotta watch for it. Not again. I have one last thing to say. You. You should really learn to give a girl a break, hear me. Wait, didn't we get that dialogue before? Anyway. Lineback! Hey, does she look like she's maybe getting a few pip? Yeah, but we did get this dialogue before. Yeah, boring, boring indeed. You probably should just, you know, clear out. Oh yeah, we don't get any more rewards, so I guess we're done with Jolene for good, huh? And I am really curious here if that really is a Neptuna, so hold on, maybe I won't end off the part again. <laughs> Dang you and your speedy fishiness! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Need to get fishing, there we go, let's see if this is a Neptuna here. Alright, just out of curiosity, because I, as I said, I don't really recall there being a thing. <laughs> This is probably a rusty swordfish. Yeah, it's a rusty swordfish. So, yeah, I could let this go if I wanted to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, there's only one Neptune in the game, just as I thought. And without the Neptuna, we are out of a heart container. So you gotta find that Neptuna, wherever it is, and then these symbols, I guess, change into rusty swordfish or whatnot. Maybe if I'll get lucky, I'll be able to get that elusive stovefish in this run because it appears on everything except for the Skippy Jack. Eh, or at least it can appear on anything except for the Skippy Jack, but... Well, I've just been having poor luck, so maybe my luck will be better here. Oh, let's see, let's see! Oh, will it be good? Will it be good? No! Oh! I just appeared right where a cyclone is. Are you serious? Man, that's a, that kind of bad luck means it's probably a good time to end off the part. <laughs> so I hope you end. Oh no! <laughs> they just appear in right here over and over? So 
So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get out of these cyclones. <laughs> I'm just sailing anywhere just to get away from those stinkers.